I've been working on my Scouse. I like my Scouse. It's all up in the... I like, Scouse? Up in the side of the mouth? <laughs> like that? Okay. Scouse mouth. Mouse. Scouse mouse. I'm Scouse mouse. Scouse mouse. I live in an upturned book. <laughs> <laughs> I fight crime, but I also commit crime. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to Twin Joke. I'm Jacob Truman. I'm Mike Truman. And this is... Christopher Bingham, otherwise known as Bing. What we're going to do to drown our sorrows, which we have for no particular reason. Mm -hmm. We want us to do shots, but we didn't have any Can shots. Can I just point out before you go any further? You are I, so negative! I didn't want to do shots. We're going to do shots, but we didn't have any like actual shot type like alcohol, like tequila or anything like that. So we're going to use... Uh, gin. Additionally to that, we don't have any shot glasses, so we're going to use two egg cups and a one-eighth cup measure measuring uh, device. So here we go. Is this what God what, intended? No. no. Is this what people in the gay community would refer to as a ratchet? There are at least 11 <laughs> things wrong with what you just said. <laughs> gin is not the kind of drink you do a shot to. Uh, this is even not even good gin. Three, two, one, down the hatch. For Salute. our country. Ah! Oh, I've always hated gin. Yes! Oh, oh, oh my god, that tastes like if a straw man could do a shit. What the fuck are you doing? What the fuck are you doing? What the fuck are you doing, Bing? I'm working on a new EP. Ugh. And then, fucking hell. And then when that's done, I'm going to get back to uh, making comedy videos. Okay. Okay. May I suggest skip step one? <laughs> Go straight to number two. It's not... A secret. It's never too late to that, quit. That me, <laughs> that me and Jacob are not fans of Bing's music. I will say that your music is good for someone who can't play any music and has no musical talent whatsoever. <laughs> but like, just as a standalone album, it's like terrible. Look, right, I'll show you what music is. I will say this. I love the fact that Bing can take every ounce of the horrible things we say about him and his music. He clearly really, really enjoys and relishes his music. Yeah. And we just shit all over it constantly. Yeah. Just so everyone knows, Mike does this at every single party. No, I so don't. We... Not every single party. <laughs> most parties. So the vinyl edition of my most recent album is coming out soon. Um, and then I'm releasing a four-track instrumental EP. Uh, digitally. Bonus tracks. There's gonna be some remixes coming out on my SoundCloud. And then I'm gonna take a break and I'm work on some videos. Don't listen to Bing's music, it will be inevitably shit. It sounds like a robot tried to make a hit. It sounds like Stephen Hawking using a theremin. Don't listen to Bing's music. It will be inevitably shit. Woo! <laughs> We're called High Five Spaceship. You can check us out on Spotify and SoundCloud. Hello everyone and welcome to Rapid Fire Bullshit, the part of the show where the bullshit is rapid fire. Are you ready, Bing? Yes. Question number one: How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck killed his wife? <laughs> Don't go out this early on the first fucking question. Answer the fucking question. No wood. None. Not a single wood. You'd be too upset. Yes. Okay. Question number two. Denounce Israel. I really don't approve of anything Israel have done in the last 20 decades. They weren't... A, a, they were, didn't exist 20 decades ago. Yes. Not a history buff, I see. <laughs> question number three. Julie Andrews runs at you holding a cricket bat in a threatening manner. What do? I parry and let her go straight into the ground. <laughs> Using her own momentum against her. Question number four. Demand a refund. This is not what I agreed to, and I would like you to refund me within Sorry, 30 days. Can you be days. more specific about what you want reasonably? <laughs> My experience here on Twin Joke okay. has been unacceptable. Unfortunately, it's non-refundable. That's not acceptable to me. I didn't so you're see saying, any terms and conditions. So you're saying you're demanding a refund? I'm demanding a refund. Correct. Please. Question five. Name the best Ben Fold 5 song. It's probably... Brick? No, it's the luckiest. It's a beautiful song. Question six. I well, have the some... luckiest is by him. 
is is a solo. They all blend together. No, He's no, Ben, ben Folds Five. Ben Folds Five was a band that he was in, and and Ben Folds as a as a solo artist is a different. Uh, it's the luckiest. The luckiest is by Ben Folds. Shut the fuck up. Not Ben Folds Five. Shut up. Question number six. I have some grave news. Okay. We double booked your plot at the graveyard. What do? That's fine. I don't care. I don't believe in a soul. Drag me out to the curb. But you paid for it. I don't care. Whatever. I'm dead. Aren't you going to demand a refund? <laughs> no. Question number seven. Free the nipple. <laughs> Question number eight. If Pokemon were real, would you oppose making them battle on moral grounds? No, because I hate animals. Question number ten. Which character from the Big Bang Theory is your spirit animal? I hate the Big Bang Theory and everything <laughs> that it stands for. But if you had to choose... The... <laughs> terrible... Clever Indian stereotype. And question number 10. Name all 12 members of So Solid crew incorrectly. Steve. Okay. Jacob. Yeah. Mike. Yeah. Sally. Yes. Big G. Big G. Baby yeah. G. Baby G. Small G. Small G. Medium G. Medium G. 12. 12. <laughs> So number nine is called 12. Yes, it's very strange, Dave. These all have very normal names for So Solid Crew. Two more. Um, There are 12? Yeah, there's 12 members of So Solid Crew. Well, they're called 11 and 12. But there was already another one called 12. Are there two called 12? Yes. He did answer it incorrectly. <laughs> Correct? <laughs> Welcome to the box of infinite unsettling possibilities. Hello everyone and welcome to the box of infinite unsettling possibilities. The section of the show where one of us puts something unsettling in the box of infinite unsettling possibilities and the other person has to guess what unsettling thing has been put in the box of infinite unsettling possibilities and if they get it they get a point. If they don't, the person who put the unsettling thing in the box of unsettling possibilities gets a point. I had never noticed that this is like faux leather. I quite like it. It's a very classy box. It's a nice box. I um, found it. On the internet, you can't see that, but I, I'm, I'm able to examine the stitching up Who close. dusted it? It's, like, got, like, solid Seriously, stitching. only you could take this much interest in the fucking box. It's Come so on, good. get it over with. Ugh, I hate this. Fuck. <laughs> Have you put a couple of old smoke detectors in there? Yes! It's our uninstalled smoke detectors. We're at risk. <laughs> It's unsettling. We bought them and we never installed them. That's unsettling. It is unsettling. How many are there? There's three. There's three. They've all got mounts. But we never installed them. So we're just like at risk of dying in a fire. But Mike wins a point. Although to be fair, he did say a couple and there's actually three. So maybe you should get half a point. Because I genuinely don't care, I'll accept that. What do you think of, of the box? Um, it was okay. <laughs> This is Blindfolded Hide and Seek with Chris Bingham. Chris insisted on being the seeker in this episode. I just, I figured it, we, we could shake it up. I've watched every single episode of Twin Joke, some of them several times, and I'm, I've, I've seen everyone's different, like, strategies. Here we go, two minutes on the clock. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two, one. Okay. I think the trick is speed and coverage. No one in this room. You can't really see on the camera, but I'm spreading myself out. Kind of star shaping, you know? Damn it. Someone's in here.
damn it. I got, got past you so easy, man. And you got so close to me. Hubris. Hubris. Hello, everyone. Oh, fuck. <laughs> That's the start. <laughs> we hope you enjoyed this episode. <laughs> Shut up. We hope you enjoyed this episode of Twin Joke. We certainly did. We loved everything about it. Every single thing. You know what, guys? That gin is starting to hit me. <laughs> <laughs> Bye! Hey guys, thanks for watching that episode of Twin Joke. We hope you enjoyed it, because we certainly did. Remember to subscribe to this channel and like our Facebook page. Leave a comment on this video and like the video. Subscribe. Favorite it. Subscribe. We've said subscribe several times. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, time for mailbag. Richard Mullen, Mike is greater than Jacob. Thanks. Thanks, man. Jordan Metham, I really like Jacob's outfit. It suits him. You're damn right, haters! It was a look! Charlotte Knowles, does Jacob ever change his quilt cover? Uh, no, I only have one quilt cover, so I just wash it when I visit home. So joke's on you, bitch. It's just four. What's the red thing by the TV? Basically, uh, we had a party and it was us themed. <laughs> we decided that you've got to come as us. And someone brought a homemade box of infinite and second possibilities. So we just use it to put all our like PlayStation related stuff. Mm. Like extra controllers and shit like that. It's very thoughtful and practical. Yes. Bye!